from Saudi Arabia to Israel to NATO to the G7, we made extraordinary gains on this historic trip to advance the security and prosperity of the United States, our friends, and our allies. We paved the way for a new era of cooperation among the nations of the world to defeat the common enemy of terrorism and provide our children with a much more hopeful future. I was deeply encouraged to hear from the leaders of many Muslim and Arab nations that they are ready to take on a greater role in combating terrorism and providing young Muslims in their region with a future of safety and a future of opportunity. I went to Jerusalem, where I reaffirmed our unbreakable bond with the State of Israel. I was awed by the majesty and beauty of the Holy Land and the faith and reverence of the devoted people who live there. All children from all faiths deserve a future of hope and peace. In Rome, I was inspired by the beauty and even more inspired by meeting with Pope Francis. Then I traveled to two summits, first at a NATO summit in Brussels, where we agreed to improve the burden sharing among members of our alliance and to further confront the shared threat of terrorism. Next, I attended the G7. I laid out my vision for economic growth and fair trade and support of good-paying jobs. And I called for much greater security and cooperation on matters of both terrorism, immigration, migration, to protect our citizens. We concluded a truly historic week for our country. We traveled the world to strengthen long-standing alliances and to form a new partnership among nations devoted to the task of eradicating the terrorism that plagues our planet. And I am now more hopeful than ever in the possibility that nations of many faiths, many religions, and from many regions can join together in a common cause 